final and I'll post how many questions you'll actually have in just a second. I don't remember if it's 22 or 24 and algebra two is taking a similar test. So the first AKS that's going to be on there is deriving the equation of a circle. Okay. So that's going to be one of them. Okay. The next one is going to be density. It's probably going to be population density. Um, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all do um poorly on the population density when really it's just mass divided by the area. Okay, so whatever area they give you, that's what you're going to use. If it is a circle, if it is a circle, then you would use like pi r square. You would find the area of that circle, and then you would take the population and divide it by it. Okay. Now, AKS 52 is going to be over geometric theorems. Okay. So for instance, you're proving whether or not it's a rectangle. Okay. Or you're proving that um, whether or not a point lies on the circle or it doesn't, or if it lies inside. Okay. So that was all of that ge geometric coordinates type deals. Okay. The next one is going to be over like inscribed angles asking about chords, tangents, secants. You need to go back through and learn that again because it hasn't, like it's been, ladies and gentlemen, be quiet. Inscribed angles we have not seen since August or September. Chords, tangents, you name it, we have not seen that in a while. So you need to make sure that you go back and review that. Yes, ma'am. Maybe. Yeah. I can. As a practice, I can do that. Okay. The next one is constructing the inscribed or circumscribed circle of a triangle. Normally, this is going to ask about properties of the angles for quadrilateral. So that's saying, hey, opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides are equal, that kind of thing. Okay. If... On the next one, it says, okay, so construct inscribed and circumscribed circle of a triangle. On the next one, it's going to ask about the circumference of a circle, area of a circle, volume of a cylinder, pyramid, cone, using Cavalier's principle. There is always a question about Cavalier's principle. They give you two um, stacks of quarters, and they say, hey, is this, like, describe this using Cavalieri's principle. So know what that is, okay? The next one is the volumes of all the different types of shapes. Yes, you'll be given the formulas, okay? So don't fret about that, but you do need to know how to use the formulas, okay? Oftentimes, people forget that in a sphere, that's R cubed, not R squared, okay? The next one is talking about the length of an arc. Okay, so length of an arc or um, area of a sector. Okay. No, sector is if I have this shape and I say find the area of this shape or this part. And that's at pi r squared theta divided by 360. Yep. Prove slope um, are parallel or perpendicular. Okay, so that's going to ask, hey, are these two lines parallel? Or, hey, are these two lines perpendicular? Or what would be perpendicular to this line? Okay, there's going to be a question about perimeter, probably similar to that question, I think, on like 19 on your review guide, where it has like a pool. And looking a little weird, it's like this kind of shape. It's like a box, but not, okay? Yep. And then the next one is going to ask about independent events. Okay, so you need to know what that is. Again, you're given the formulas, but you got to know what that means, okay? There's going to be a frequency table. Okay, it's going to ask some questions about the probability of those. Okay. Remember, pay attention to the word given. Given is very important. Okay. 
recognize and explain the concepts of conditional probability. So that's talking about the given stuff. Okay. There's going to be one on the addition rule. Okay. So that's adding two things up and then subtracting whatever they have in common. There's going to be one on finding the conjugate. Conjugate is if I have A plus BI, the conjugate would be A minus BI. Mm -mm. Okay. The next one is going to be on um, solving quadratic equations with real coefficients that have complex solutions. Um, I highly suggest that you get comfortable with the quadratic formula because they're going to ask something that's like that. On your test, if they write this out, like this, you need to first put it in standard form before you do anything, okay? Okay, and the last one is polynomial identities to complex numbers. That's saying, hey, if I multiplied all this out, I would get this guy over here, all the same, okay? I'm gonna look out, look, is the fact that there are 24 questions. Okay, there are 24 questions. All of that complex stuff is gonna be about four questions long. So that's like asking about the conjugate. That's asking about like adding and subtracting complex numbers. That's talking about that kind of stuff. Um, majority of the things that you're going to find is like um, all of that stuff that we did in unit one, unit two, that's all of this stuff. That's coordinate geometry, et cetera. Okay. <laughs> talking like coordinate geometry, that's talking about all that equations of a circle type deal. Um, that's talking about um, like asking about rectangles, proving all of that mess. Okay. So all of that stuff kind of falls into that 14 question chunk. That's why I'm not sure what your final exam is going to look like because it has such a big grouping. Okay. That's it. That's all I have.